nagkaroon na 35,000 na with the mask na. Okay? So, sa una, mahal niya. Sa una, tagko, pag hindi kayo, it's getting easier and cheaper. Muna ko nga nalula rin sa inyo, kaparap ko. Okay? And hopefully, the um, dollar na ito, mas nabarato pag hindi. Other options. If the patient cannot tolerate CPAP, then what you can sometimes do mga non-invasive will be oral appliances. These are mandibular positioning devices fit by a dentist. What it basically does is it moves the jaw forward. Okay? By moving the jaw forward, you're increasing the space in the retinal glossal area. Okay? There are different types. And sometimes there are certain devices that pulls the tongue forward. Okay? I'm not going to make a tool, but I'm not going to make a tool. Okay, so, but the wrong rule for, for oral appliances, it is a useful alternative to CPAP, especially for patients with simple snoring and patients with obstructive CPAP who tolerate, tolerate CPAP therapy. So, sa trauma, we have to work with a dentist who, who does this manager devices who will be able to solve the CPAP with any more mild. We should have a bata and they're going to wear the machine as But the wrong rule is, the pay, this is best if the patient is not 125% above the normal weight. Apneic episodes are not more than 30, so my mild to moderate, and oxygen saturation is not less than 80%. So it works in the mild sleep apnea. Yeah, the tennis is anatomy. Okay? Surgery. It used to be before the evaluation of CPAP. You know, CPAP, the only in the middle, and the middle is solid. What is it? The vacuum cleaner, you don't need that, right? Instead, you suck the push of air, and you put it on the table, and it works. From then on, they started using it, and it's getting rich. Surgical options, tracheostomy. Simply, if you do tracheostomy, you can bypass it. Sometimes, the patients with severe OSC, and you want to quit, can we form a knowledge of no choice but to go ahead with tracheostomy. So that's a definite option and a treatment. Other surgery, this is probably one of the hard words to say, where this is the hypoclinia. That is, you below palato paninoplasty. Okay? Ingat yung pasyente, you're gonna do you below palato paninoplasty. Okay, press yan din. Okay? Pastel lang, bantay ha, sell yan. You below palato paninoplasty. So basically, it removes the uvula and parts of the soft palate. So from here, they take everything out and it becomes this. So this is how it looks. So like this guy, you know, when you're on the anal, after surgery, it becomes this. The only problem with the surgery though is that it's not complication. Sakit na niya, and sometimes ang inong ka tubig, yung balik ang tubig sa inong ilong. Okay, wala naman tayo ang inyara na, o niya, kubay, yung reklamo, yung infection, etc. Pero the only problem here is not 100% successful. It is only successful in half of the time, 42%, and defined by the success as a drop in sleep acne by half. The reason for that, it only treats one of the problems here. But if you have a problem with this, it doesn't treat that. Okay, so it's not 100%. So some for what they do is that after you fail, you go for other, other uh, surgeries, your TP, then you go for general advancement, high manubular advancement, and phase two is maxillary mandibular advancement. Okay, so these are surgeries. So what they do is sometimes what they can do is they can pull the high bone forward and up. So actually pulls the tongue forward to the end of the no? Or this one. You can break the jaw and you can move the jaw forward. So when the bone and you take the retro palata and the tiny maxillary, you can move the jaw forward, no? So, I mean, for plastic surgery, for human, you know, it's like an two square jaw and then forward na. Pero maniwang sa isa, kaya pila ka waste niya, and kawire ang jaw, and kawire kaon, no? Okay, so it's also a good treatment. So, this is a very bad surgery. Difficult surgery, I would probably not advise here to Filipinas, because there are certain surgeries who say that they can do it. So, if the tongue is a problem, like this guy, you can also operate on the tongue. You can take off the tongue. Okay? Okay. So those are options that you can do. But basically, the, the saying is because of the complexity of the airway norm of collapsing the surgery, any one surgical procedure will not eradicate a patient's sleep acne. A stepwise approach is probably acceptable, but the patient should probably be told about it, not just do surgery and not be told what's going to be happening. Okay? So it can work if you really want to do stage work. 
Tem que ser de quatro reais a por dia e por esse papo de saber. Ok? Uma porta faz a igreja de outra. Não é que tem um balé aqui na porta. Pela gente na sala, ok? Ela não está na porta. Ok? Ela tem nada. Só um risco de ser de quatro reais. Ok? This is my appeal to everybody. Ok? I appeal to our patients. Ok? And to everybody is that obstructive sleep apnea is a great danger. If you do not treat obstructive sleep apnea, there's increased chance of mortality, causes hypertension, increases your CAs, and most of the time So you should probably ask your patient. Every cardiac patient probably doesn't need polysomnia, but they should at least be asked. Do you snore and are you sleeping? Screening question minute. Then when you start asking that, then that will work. Let me start with a quote that I usually end up with. Laugh, and the whole world laughs with you. Snore, and you sleep alone. Thank you. For questions, I can't